Show me the money! Show me the money! Show me the money! Show me the money! What's going on? What's happening? What's up? We are here for another episode of Tunnel Takedown, yep. the only sports show where we care less about what you did on the court, Bang. and it's all about how you showed up. I'm here once again with my esteemed co-hosts and lovely family members, Khalees Anthony and what Mouse Jones. Yo, What's yo, going yo, on with y'all? Yo, 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 yo. Last Saturday on ABC's head-to-head -head matchup, the Warriors smacked the OKC Thunder. They beat them 110 to 88, and that was not the only win the Warriors got. Because over on Complex Sports, they put their fits of Draymond Green and Dennis Schroeder head to head, and 51% of you motherfuckers decided that Draymond Green had the better outfit than Dennis Schroeder. Nah, I'm with the other 49%. Yeah, 49% over here. Make sure you tune in to the NBA this week as the playoff push continues on ESPN. That was good. That was really good. Now, that was cool, but it's time for us to do our job and time to put two of our favorite fits head to head as we judge them on originality, confidence, and overall execution. Now the winner will land on the Tunnel Takedown leaderboard where we've been tracking the best fits over the past few weeks to see who comes out on top at the end of the season, which is actually next week, unfortunately. Are you ready? The God is back. Oh God. We are talking about oh, my guy, oh, PJ shit. Tucker. Now we got the Dose Gabbana uh, men's floral uh, pajama set. I love this. James this Harden is, being in this picture makes his outfit way more That fun. does not validate his foolishness. Yet. James Harden will not be validating anyone's foolishness in the tunnel. Where's this foolishness? Listen, this is listen, fire. Originality. I'm gonna go ahead and get this man a seven just because he originally found some cool pajamas that I would definitely wear in my home. I would never leave my home dressed like that. Confidence. He know he fucked up. Look at his face. That's why he's looking off to the right like, man, I hope that they ain't taking pictures of me for this shit. Nah, and I man. hope that the motherfuckers on Tunnel Takedown don't get a hold of this shit because that racks motherfucker might go in. I so you got a three for confidence because you definitely that's, wasn't I don't think that, that, I man, don't think that, that was the thought. That was his thought. I'm telling you, his confidence was fucked up. I'm okay. telling you. So overall execution, he didn't do shit and his ankles is out. So he, that's how you know they pajamas, Barely bro. though, by like literally. That's how you know they pajamas. Ankles. Only in one That's how you know they pajamas. Don't, don't make excuse for that. Don't do that. Everybody ain't going be out. He got an overall Listen. execution. Uh, I gave his ass a motherfucking three. We judging overall looks against other people that wore real clothes. And this is a good look. And his pajamas is better than real outfits? You're calling the pajamas. Oh, you're, shit. You're, okay, all right, all right. Look. That was my opinion, y'all. Originally, I get to eight. Confidence, a nine. You have to be confident to pull this off, to walk outside with this. You have to be, like, just look at the way he's walking. got the Starbucks. He, <laughs> he good. He just to fight it with that. He good. He good. Overall execution. <laughs> overall execution. I personally wouldn't do this, but I gave it an eight. Yeah, I mean, it definitely takes a lot of confidence to just roll out of bed and then throw on the Nick Fouquet hat, which he always does. Originality, eight. Confidence, seven. Overall execution, I'll give him a seven. So overall, that gives PJ Tucker the god 60. So moving on from PJ Tucker, oh sleepy ass, we gonna get into Kevin Durant. He got on some Palm Angel socks. Palm Angel multicolor flannel ting, you know what I mean? Sneakers off-white Nike, you know what I mean? Very I, calm look. Very, like very calm look. So, I mean, this was my pick personally this week. For originality, I gave him a seven. Um, it really wasn't too much. I kind of just like that he kept it basic with the black underneath, mm -hmm. black top, black pants, black sneakers, and then he jumped out there with the, the colors with the hat and with the flannel. I'm fucking with flannels all year round. Yep. Kevin Durant becoming looking confident as of late because you know playoffs is looming around the corner. He's gonna have to step that shit up. Overall execution, eight white socks, black shoes. Yeah, socks, you didn't let the ankles out. I really, I can't with black, black, and then white. Like, it could have just been real seamless had he just came yeah, through no, with black socks. Like, no, 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 I would agree with you, but, but I don't like, no. I don't, that's just me, that's just me. That make the sneaker if pop. You did, it if looks you awkward. Did, if you, mm. No, it doesn't because mm. the white in the in the off white. Now for for originality, I gave him a six. This is not the What's most the it's not the most original thing I've seen. I mean, it's not sad. Overall confidence. This is honestly the most confident I've seen Kevin Durant all season. Big fact. Um, so get, gave him a nine for that. Praise God. Overall execution. It doesn't have to be super original to just be done well. Praise so I gave him overall execution. I gave him a nine. Hallelujah. I gave Mouse him a nine. Jones done seen the light, y'all. Okay, so. <laughs> For originality, six. 
confidence seven, overall execution five. Like we saw this kind of look in week one. Can you not? Like, I'm, I'm just listening. Can you I, I can, not? I can listen how I want to. I'm just making sure I give you my full attention. Are you good? You know what I'm saying? Good. Look, you know. I think the flannel should have been one size bigger. I just wanted a little bit more oversized. Man, it's already a 4X. I was about to say, man, it's 6'16". No, no, I mean, it's because, but just like, it's like a little, like, awkward. Oh, so, man. So, that gives oh, KD man. a total Oh, man. Oh, man. I want to change my scores. Oh, I want to no, change wait. my scores. How did he come on number? Okay. Oh, 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 shit. That gives him a total of 65 points. Meaning that he which won? Makes, this is y'all fault. How is this y'all's fault when y'all ready to pimp code and he number one and still holding on to the top spot? Y'all got nah. to stop. Well, y'all got to stop. Bradley Bill still sitting pretty, number Yo. one. Hopefully somebody sweeps through and comes through with a fire fit because... This is crazy. Praise oh. Jesus for Khalees and Mouse finally okay. seeing the light. Hallelujah. Being that we talk a lot of shit, it's yeah. also good to know when to pay homage and yeah. when to give credit where credit is due. That's why we want to take a minute to shout out Dwayne Wade and Dirk Nowitzki, who are going to be wrapping it up after the season, going into retirement. Let's take a look back at how their style has evolved over their career. First of all, let's get into these shoes. You know that these were the Stacey Adams. Fall down seven, get up nine, mm -hmm. hide in your closet, because mm -hmm. this was not the time. Oh, OK, so okay. he started to get a little sauce. Just a little yeah. bit, just a little ounce. Every nigga had he was in somebody camo cargo shorts. I was about to say them, them probably the Mark Jacobs camo shorts too. I yeah, feel like those are. I, I feel like that's the ghetto groundhog. Like when you see those, you know summer's on its way. Yep. Okay. Like he went from the He's oversized, going. I don't know how to wear clothes, right. to then the the leisure, leisure, the street luxury. leisure businessman. Hey. Oh, there it goes. Get you a black queen of all of you. He's peak Dwayne Wade. They're cute. But I this look, I, I love, I love this look actually. He traded in big ass shirts in for blazers. <laughs> Oh, look at him. Okay. Look at him. 2019. Now, now he's going back towards like the more oversized oh, silhouette. Oversized. So but we went from oversized, oversized to slim. Oversized couture now. All right, now moving on to Dirk Nowitzki. Look at this shit right here. Look Frosted that, tips. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. I mean, he thought he was Jordan. That's why you know he got that one hoop like, like, like that, though. That, you and it's in the left. He thought he was. He thought you he know, was. No, he didn't rock both, but. Oh, okay. ho, ho. this is like a serious picture. Shout out to the Shocks. Those are coming back. Here's a fun fact. Majority of uh, kids dress like this currently. We got oh, hell no. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. hell no. Hey. 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 This 07 A. Change dirt. Dirt. <laughs> and go. Dirt. <laughs> this is just you, Dirt. Listen. Yo, Dirt thought he was Jay Z. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Dirt Not showed up looking jeans. like Anthony Hamilton. Let's take a moment for these jeans and the dress shoes. That's what first I was of all. <laughs> Cause who told Ooh, you that this bye. was okay? Now in 2017, look at him. He said, I'm not dressing like Jay-Z no more. Thank God. He kinda is. I'm gonna start dressing like Jay-Z. Yeah, you see I what I did? Say, he kinda oh, is, though. You see what I did? Put them damn ankles away and you got a winner. Oh! All right, I like this better. Oh. I can get with this better. This is currently, so this is a lot more relevant, a lot more fun. You see he got the pattern popping off with his suit, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you the can't front. The best underneath, three He don't yeah, look old, okay. son. Listen, we love a good glow up, so shout out to Wade, shout out to Dirk. Shout outs to the you sunset that y'all gonna ride off into. Now, our guy, Derek Roche, is a legend in his own right. Thanks, you know, he's Derek. been out here styling icons like Kobe Bryant, Diddy, Nicki Minaj, and so many oh, others. Oh. So this week, he's gonna show us how to style someone with a more, like, tall, athletic build. Big, lanky motherfuckers. Thank you, New York. So oftentimes, when styling tall men or athletes, they usually run into a few problems, mostly because of their height, respective to their sport, or their physical training. So today we're gonna to talk about a few style tips that we can use to help John and other people like John to figure out the best way to dress for your body. So one of the first things I always think about when styling an athlete is color, silhouette, and pattern. So what I wanna do is show you guys how sometimes when you have pattern, less is more. And then if you're not one of those person who wants to do more, you just stick to basic color palettes. So we're gonna try a few outfits on John here and see what works best for him and his height. So most people would probably think someone who is 6'6 could not wear florals, but I think it's quite the opposite. Because it's so busy at the top, we would style it with something a little bit more simpler and demure down at the bottom. So I picked up the green from this Valentino Anorak, put it with the green shorts with the clean Givenchy shoe. And I think it's super clean, and I think it's so appropriate for his height. For the opposite end of the spectrum, for the person who doesn't want to wear a lot of bold color or pattern, I think this is a super clean and chic fit. We have the Burberry trench coat with the pattern on the inside, a little subtle detail on the side seam, Pair it with a clean white tee, nice gray trouser, and a nice Tom Ford trainer, and we're good to go. I think it's perfect for someone of his height and his stature, and he looks great. 
All right, so New York, I better get tens across the board for my fits. I'll see y'all next time. Good looking, Derek. We appreciate you. Let's get into the flagrant fit of the week. Hey, hey. So look, we got Kyle Kuzma. All right, uh. Why you say it like that? Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma came through uh, rocking the Supreme Stone Island silk pants with the Supreme Stone Island silk jacket, Nike off-white Air Force Ones. Now, before y'all get to slaying this shit, I'm just gonna disclaimer and say it. I'm gonna come out and go completely against the grain. This ain't flagrant to me, but I'll let y'all have at it. He like dried blood. No, he looks like he should be on a set of a Diddy or Missy Elliott music video, actually. What's wrong with that? He doesn't have the aesthetic or vibe like consistently to like come come through with something like this and it be like, oh, okay, this is fire. She's not I wrong. like it. When I saw it online in the editorial or the in the Supreme Lookbook, I like the look. I just don't feel like it works for him. The jacket, if anything, okay, cool. He could have kept with the jacket, but the pants and the jacket, just like I said, for him, I'm not into the pants mm -hmm. at all. Why? Well, and everybody I, owns these I, goddamn Air Forces, and I'm tired of seeing them, so. I hated this look from the, you from just the beginning. Hate Supreme. I do, I do. It's crazy because this doesn't really look like silk. It looks more like. It looks like plastic. Yeah. This this looks like, like your grandmother's couch really is wrapped. I, I, I get where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Mouse, I don't respect someone that just hates some shit without actually giving it the time of day, so I'm not gonna say that. But you do that all the time. No, I don't. <laughs> you do that all the no, time. No, I don't. Like I said, I'm not mad at this. This ain't that bad. And like you were saying, he don't have the swag to pull it off. Normally, I do agree with you, but I think this outfit right here is a jump out and a step outside of the box, and him actually showing that he has the confidence to jump out the there box. and do some different shit. Now, I will say that the layer and tee that he wore. He should have picked a different color. I might even went with a boot for real, for real. But y'all basically gave a man with an actual outfit on the flagrant fit of the week. Dude, that shit was trash. All right, bruh. That fucking shit pajamas was, was trash. Now y'all been throwing me up on this goddamn screen behind me. I have not thrown you anywhere. Fair enough, my brother. Trying to roast me and I've had enough. All right, little joker here, little joker's fine, but y'all be trying to get crazy. Khalees. Don't come so out So now it's time crazy. to test y'all, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blur out the faces of some popular NBA, Superstars and so of course our celebrities both past and present and maybe in the future You don't know how we giving it up over here and y'all got to figure out who is who whoever is the first to get three right Gets to from head to toe Style the loser for next week's show Don't touch me motherfucker Oh hell nah Y'all ready? I'll be damned if this nigga style me All right That's Not today That's your mood? Mood All right don't fuck Hold it up, up. Oh. 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 oh 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 All right let's go who we got? Who we got? Quick, who's your answer? Joel Embiid. What? That's not him at all. all. Underboot moment is definitely Russell Westbrook. Yeah. I seen this shit on the internet. Who is it? Spike Lee. So now Rax is on the board. It's one, one, Khalees. Hands over? Come on. No, you gotta have your hands up to your side. I don't side, gotta do that. Dude, you making up rules and shit. Yeah, saying, you ever I'll watch get... Family Feud? Come I'll push on. your shit on the floor. It's on Khalees. No, that's bullshit! Khalees got that before you. Dennis Khalees Rodman. That. That's fucked up. Dennis who? You said the wrong name. Oh, fuck. oh, here he comes. Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Rodman. You know who I'm Rodman. talking about? I just. Rodman? Who the I, fuck is Dennis you know what Rodman? I, all right. Khalees, you're down. 2 1. She, she gonna fuck Rack up. You up. I can chill. You can have this one. I, I, like, I like it. To I probably won't even know. All right. You know who that was? I know. Rack's got that's that. That's fucking Beyonce, right, nigga. Yeah. You already know. Give me my motherfucking money! Show me the money! Show me the money! Show me that shit! I didn't know you were gonna catch prizes! Show me the money! Show me the money! Show me! First of all, my shit was delayed. All right, all right. Back to your corners. Back to your corners. So now that Rax has won officially 3 1, Khalif, that means you lost. That means you didn't win. It means that for next week, Rax Hogan gets to style Khalif. All right, so make sure y'all tune in next week to see what Racks puts Khalees in and to see the further madness that is Tunnel Takedown. Bow, bow, bow. Wait, was that the out? We done? I'll holler.